Calvin Vincent Studios. Copyright disclaimer. In other words, hey everybody, it's me, Calvin Minson, and welcome back to the Calvin Minson Show! So last year, in 2020, they had a Mario 35th anniversary celebration, and they made some games for it, like Super Mario 3D All-Stars and Super Mario Bros. 35, which is like Fortnite, where you play the original Super Mario Bros. game with 34 other players, and every enemy you defeat gets sent to one of the 34 other players of your choice, and you try to be the last player alive. And it was great! It was one of the best Battle Royale games, and can be enjoyed by everyone, but it came at a price. Both Mario 3D All-Stars and Super Mario Bros. 35 were available for a limited time. Both games would be gone on March 31st, 2021. In the case of Mario 3D All-Stars, on the 31st, you can't buy it digitally anymore, and you cannot buy it physically anymore. But Mario 3D All-Stars sold over 8 million physical copies alone. That's more than how much Mario Maker 2 sold. But in the sake of Super Mario 35, on the 31st, it will be gone. You won't be able to play it anymore. It'll be gone forever. Lost to time. But it shouldn't be. It's a great game. And I don't know why Nintendo would delete a game at the end of March. And it's too late for them to change their mind. It's in a few days. So in commemoration of Mario 35, here are some highlight reels of great moments of gameplay. Thank <laughs> you. 
So now that you've seen gameplay, you basically know what Mario 35 is. And I've even gotten number one Victory Royale myself. So I love this game, as well as hundreds and thousands of others. And now I think it's time to give Mario 35 a proper burial.